Yeah. What's going on, man? Friday night. Just got paid. Money in my pocket. Y'all remember that song? What do I want to drink, man? Let's let's drink a little bit of well, let's eat a carrot, man. Let's get us a carrot. I gotta eat that bell pepper too. What's up with y'all, man? Talk to me. Friday night. Friday night. It don't never stop. There goes somebody in here. Who's that? Who's that? Okay, okay, I see you. Friday night men's meeting, man. What's up with y'all? Let's go. Talk to me. Let's get it going. Before all the crazy dudes get in here. Hey, Leonard, what's up, Leonard? I see you, man. Shout out to the Merc crew. Respect the truth. Christopher Brown, what's up? We closing in on 100,000, man. Hey, Leonard, what's going on with you, man? Shout out to you, man. Thank you for that super chat on the live, on the last live. I had asked you if you uh, if you had something you wanted me to talk about, man. You know, since you showed me love, I figured I could jump on the topic with you. Andy, thank you, man. 100000 to be here soon. Probably by next week, man. Probably by the end of the month. Friday night, man. Another week down. Another one gone. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, man. I'm putting the work in, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting the work in. Now, I was never at 110. The most I ever got to was 98 and a half. That was the highest that I ever been on that other channel. I never hit 100,000. This will be the first time that I hit 100,000. Eating clean. Got on the scale today. What the fuck is that? What's going on, man? Got on the scale today, 167 pounds. Nice weight. I'm at a nice weight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big Daddy KP, the video about your son losing that fight. I felt that when I know where you're coming from. Yeah, man. AES Corpus, thank you for your channel membership, man. My sleep been up and down, man. My sleep the last two days ain't really been that good because I think I've been drinking coffee too late in the day. And I'm already a, a hyper person. And then if I just drink coffee, then it really gets out of, uh, get out of whack. But yeah, it was a good learning experience for little Sean, man, and for me. You know, being a father is deep, man. Being a father is deep. But, you know, we're we growing. These are things that little boys going to have to go through, man. 100%. Hey, what do you think about the migration situation in the ghetto? Um... I don't know, man. Juan just destroyed my physiology exam and got a date. All right, my man, my man. Shout out to you, Juan. Y'all, Christopher Brown said, get them likes up. You know, I got no opinion on what they're doing, man. I have no opinion on what's going on in this country. I don't make the decisions. 
You know what I'm saying? Does it impact me? Yes, it does. But what can I do? As one individual solitary man, Radhi, thank you for your channel membership. I see you, man. What 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 can I do? This thing is way above me. My day is good, man. I got a good life. Yeah, somebody went with all that question, asking the same question over and over. I got no opinion on politics, man. AES Corp has got the wrench. The wrench is ready. So it was Friday night, man. I had a good week. Decent week. What is the foundation that you should instill in your children? Well, I don't know about anybody else and what they should do with their life, but what I try, what I instill in little Sean is um, independence, toughness, honesty. Imp mom's loyal servant got that soul glow. Imp mom, thank you, man. Thank you for joining the channel. Sharmika, what's up, man? Um, to understand failure, responsibility, these are the things I teach, Sean. Physical fitness, mental fitness, reading, things like that. Man, shout out to Ip Man. Ip Man, what's up, man? Where you at, man? Ip Man, put a, put a topic up there, man. Whatever topic you want, Ip Man, I'm going to jump on it. What's my favorite type of music? My favorite type of music is... Probably going to be old school hip hop and then old school soul music. I can't get away from those. Armando Garcia, what's up, man? Utah in the building, what's up? Holistic Love, what's happening with you? I got a question, man. I got a question. I got a question. Y'all ready for my question? Are y'all ready for my question? Prostate doing good. Should I do a call in? I should do a call in. I should do a call in. I should do a call in, man. Let me see something, though. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Y'all want to do a call in? I should do a call in, man. On my way to my client. Okay, okay. Um, I got a question, man. I really want to do a call in, man. 
so I can hear people's opinion. Let me see something. Let me try something. Let me try something with y'all. Nah, I ain't gonna do that because it's too many nah, with this with this new with this new live and so many weird people coming in here. I don't want them to have my number. But my question is this. Y'all ready for the question? Where my man Ipman at? Good evening. Is there anybody you want to meet and why? Uh, I would have I would I would like to meet Muhammad Ali. Um probably Muhammad Ali. I know he's dead. Uh, few people I would like to meet. All right, so the question is this. The question is this. And I was thinking about this the other day. And I normally don't talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 AES Corpus. I was thinking the same thing, man. Let me ask you this. And I normally don't do topics like this. But I was thinking, like it popped in my mind. It says like, Tupac diss DMX. That's my question. That's the question for the night. Ipma, where you at, man? I'm man, Ipma, I'm joining the channel, man. Ipma's loyal servant. Thanks for joining the channel, man. So answer that question. Answer that question. He dissed Nas. He dissed Jay-Z. He dissed Puffy. He dissed Biggie. He dissed Mob Beat and the Mob Deep. He dissed Little Kim. He dissed Junior Mafia. Why didn't he diss uh DMX? question it's a good question man and hypothetically hypothetically whose career would have got it, it'd be interesting to see if one of their careers would have ended Shamika says, maybe because he is real. Nowadays, fake is everywhere. Real is rare. Elevated thoughts. Time. Yo, elevated thoughts. Why didn't Tupac diss DMX? DMX was out. DMX was out during that time. No, no, no. What time? When, when, when did DMX come out? When did DMX come out? Let me see. DMX first. Song. Right, Tupac was dead already. Okay, that's why. That's why. That's why. Forget that question. Forget that question.
Where my man Ip Man at, man? Yeah. Yeah, I thought DMX came out earlier. Because I know him and Jay-Z were trying to get on around the same time. DMX was better than Jay-Z and Big. Who's better? Who you pick, DMX or Tupac? Christopher Brown say DMX. Aiden Hughes says pop. AES Corpus says pop. Joyce is X. How do you feel about a man being the sole provider in a relationship? Or do you believe it should be 50-50 with men and women in a relationship? All right, so here's a question. Here's another question. Here's another question. This is from Holistic Love. How do you feel about a man being the sole provider in a relationship, or do you believe it should be 50-50 with men and women in a relationship? Y'all jump on that one. Y'all jump on that one. AES Corpus says men provides. Women supports and nourishes. What's going on? Cool unit, I see you. A man should always provide elevated thoughts. It depends if she's stay at home. Okay. Okay. That's fine if she's doing her part two at home, barefoot in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, where my ladies at? Are the ladies in here? Where my ladies at? My girl don't pay no bills. Elevated thoughts say his girl don't pay no bills. Sean, my side chick left me to be with her husband I miss her, though. Said I wasn't spending enough time with her. Sean, a man's job is supposed to provide for the woman, but the woman is mentally to nurse her young and cook. That's if she don't work and wants to. Shamika's in here. Inquiring minds want to know. Men are the dominant gene, the strongest sex, we should carry the heavier burden. A man should provide, George Robinson, a man should provide and a woman should be his helpmate. If she's not his helpmate, then she shouldn't be providing, then he shouldn't be providing. She was never yours if she was your side chick and married. Hmm, Lee Turner, what's up, Lee? Men are traditionally the providers, but I believe in 50-50. So the question is, should men be the sole providers in a relationship or should it be shared 50-50? Christopher Brown, I'm seeing a married woman and it makes me not want to get married because she does things to me like she's really my woman and her husband has no idea. Bella Napoli, Batcave, men are the dominant. They should be the main provider. A.S. Corpus says the sole provider. Sharmika, absolutely what? You said absolutely, but you ain't say what? K. 
Keon D. My issue, Christopher Brown, that's my issue. My side chick does the same. We both married. Okay. Listen, marriage, in my opinion, is a bond with the souls and a bond with the mind. I don't think a ring signifies a marriage. I don't think standing in front of a church or a preacher signifies a marriage. I don't think going to the courthouse and signing some documents signifies a marriage. A marriage is when, my opinion, the male and the female are joined spiritually, mentally, and physically. I think that people can be married on paper. They could be married with a ring. They could have gone through the formal marriage ceremony, but can be more divorced than two strangers that have never met. You know, that's my opinion. There's no such thing as 50-50. It's 100-100. What she weak at, you might be strong at, and vice versa. My man Lee Turner chiming in. But formalizing a marriage solidifies a further push the liability. Whatever needs to be done, whoever is best suited to provide, ideally the man, especially when kids are involved, but lionesses hunt too. Shamika, just because you had a wedding doesn't mean you walked away with the marriage. Yeah, you got people that are married and don't even speak to each other anymore and live in the same household, right? So they're already divorced. They're just there for financial security reasons or fear of leaving but both are seeing people outside of their marriage. Marriage is hard. Been married for almost 10 years, but I won't change a thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with helping each other because when you are together, that's how it should be. Max Zambel, what do you think about all these guys idolizing other men like athletes and shit. Isn't that kind of sad, like wearing another man's name in your back? Sean, what's your take? Uh, what do you think about time change? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about that one. I don't know what I think. I think man and woman are a team. I think, I think um, the man and the woman are a team. Um, it's an interesting question, man. Uh, I don't know, man. You know, it's cool when a man can do for his woman. That's that's a good thing. That's that's the proper thing. What a man can do for his woman. Um, but I don't think she should. You know. you know, absolve herself from any type of responsibility um, as far as the team is concerned, right? Because if you're both a team and you're both going in the same direction, um, when I help you, I help us. When I help us, I help us. And when you help me, you help us. But fundamentally, you know, the dude is supposed to take care of the heavy lifting, man. If 
a woman had to rely on her man these days, she would starve. But every team has a leader and a shot caller, absolutely. You both, Shamika, Shamika, you both are supposed to be doing what's best for each other, the team. Who's the shot caller in the relationship? It's the man. 100%. What's your take, holistic love? Since you asked me mine, what's your take? Sean, what is the longest relationship you had so far? I was in a nine-year relationship. I was in a relationship with a girl for nine years. That's the longest ever. Oh, the NCAA games on? What's up with your left bicep? I tore my bicep. I tore my bicep doing preacher curls. Did you cheat in the nine years? Uh, depends on what you call cheating. In the, in, in, in the way that you are asking it, yes. But that's a, that's a whole nother conversation. You know, we can really go into the weeds with that and uh, what defines cheating and what doesn't. Men are supposed to lead, but communication is the key. They're going to lead turn. It, Mom, what's up, man? Sean, can you explain the fall of relationship nowadays is because of the rise of supply, online dating, social media? I have no idea. And I wouldn't sit here and try to profess as if I did. You know, I, I don't know what... Everybody's different. There's no one thing that affects every relationship the same way. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with people today. Everybody's different. Some people are capable of being in a committed relationship and some people aren't. What makes you go dig deep in the bucket when you don't want to, excluding your son? I just always go hard, man. I, I, that's the way I live. Excuse me, what kind of tattoo you got on your back and was you afraid when you did the first one? My tattoo on my back is my clean date when I got clean from drugs and alcohol. And when I was, was I scared when I got my first tattoo? Yes, it hurt. Getting tattoos hurt. You look like Joe Rogan, I look like Joe Rogan? I don't think so. The man should be a hundred the man should be one hundred like he was before they hooked up because if she's right, she is worth it. Loyal, respectfully, loving. Okay, Derek Leonidas, that's a good point. Going good, Paul Chop Black, I see you, man. Michigan, what's up? Did you have a lot of rumbles in the feds? Nah, I didn't have any fights. Close calls, but never, I didn't have any, a lot of mental fights. You're going to have a lot of mental fights, you know, but, and then some tongue wrestling, you know, some words back and forth, but nothing never got physical. It must loyal server. There you go, man. You welcome, Mr. G, and had to show thanks, man, after every workout i look in the mirror asking why i look like this like you so much of the strength and encouragement it mom thank you for your channel membership man appreciate you man uh 
Lee Turner says, the question you need to be asking is, have you prepared for marriage? Are you prepared for marriage? Are you prepared for marriage? That's a good question, because it's going to be a lot of compromise going to come with that. It doesn't pop off in the feds as frequently as upstate. You've been to the feds before? If it works between you and your woman, then it works. If not, it's supposed to be a recipe. Did you form a stronger religion in prison? I didn't. I don't believe in any religion. I'm not a religious man. What would I tell my 24-year-old self? To work hard, man. Bill Will, tell him, Bill Will. That's Cap. The feds is rocking, especially them USPs. Tell him, Bill Will. I'm currently a CEO at FCI Phoenix. They get busy. My take is I think a man should be the primary provider. Absolutely. We are a team, though, and we help each other. But as a woman, I shouldn't have to worry about finances. We want to feel secure. Okay. The first thing I ate when I got out of prison was McDonald's at the airport in Pittsburgh. We give love, loyalty, nurturing, intimacy. So do we. So do men. So do men. Richard Charles, thank you for that super chat, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Build our man up. That's right. I just came home from 12, 8 in the USP. The rest in FCI. Yeah. But I got to go chime in another time. Okay, holistic love, we see. Richard Charles, okay, what's up, man? Muhammad in Amsterdam, love from the uh, Netherlands. What's up, man? I got a piece of skull in my wrist. <laughs> AES Corpus, Pedro Vision, what's up, man? Long time no see. What's up, Tawanda? Christopher Brown, prison can be a blessing if you know how to use it. Man, shout out to my man, Muhammad. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my man, Muhammad's YouTube channel. Y'all see that dude, the last one that just left the message? He's got the green Arabic. Click on his link and subscribe to his channel. What to do when you feel defeated? Well, when I feel defeated, that means I'm thinking defeated. And when I get like that, Muhammad, I usually try to go work out. I usually try to go work out, you know, like today I traded in the market. I lost some money today in the market. I, it made me feel bad. Uh, but there's always tomorrow, you know, Monday. Um, so I went and I ran two miles, right? And then I got to look at the whole picture. I got to look at the whole picture. Things ain't really that bad, Muhammad, you know, um, I'm here in my apartment. My son is healthy. I'm healthy. You know, I got more money in the bank. You know, I'll get a chance to go again. I got a YouTube channel that makes me money. You know, I got Facebook, Instagram that makes me money. Devin, what's up, man? I see you, man. Um, you know, but to, to, 
when I feel defeated, um, you know, reflect, you know, Lil Sean in there? Somebody saying Lil Sean, I wonder if he in there. Is he in there? I ain't seen him. Thank you, though, Lee Turner. Y'all got to hit that like button, man. Um, and it's only temporary, Muhammad. You know, the feeling of defeat is only, is only temporary, right? It's not uh, permanent. You know, you're a young man. You know, you're a young, good-looking man. Uh, you got your own uh, media company. And, uh, you know, you got your YouTube. You got a good following. Just keep posting. And you know what, Muhammad, man? There go my nigga Rod D. Brother Sean, always inspiring the masses. Peace, fam. Rod D, thank you for that super chat. Rod D, I need you to put a topic up there, whatever you want me to touch on. Thank you for your generosity and thank you for your channel membership. But Muhammad, you know, you're doing good, man. You know, and, you know, Muhammad's happiness is not some destination. Jersey Rich, what up? You know, Sean's happiness is not some destination. You know, it's right here in this chair tonight. I got to find a way to be, to feel and think successful tonight and in the moment the good life when i need encouragement i tune into sean g the good life thank you for that super chat man what should i do if i keep running and grinding but keep getting dug under you got to keep going you got to keep going so, Muhammad, you just got to know, man, and you are. You know, I've watched your channel. I, I watch, I come on your lives. I've watched you. I've watched some of your videos. And, uh, you know, Devin Malik, what up, man? Thank you for that super chat. Uh, you know, not on the, uh, the other tip, because, you know, I ain't on that tip. I like women. But, you know, you a young dude, man. Nice looking dude, you living over there in the Middle East. I don't know where you're at and I don't need to know, but you got a lot of good stuff going for yourself, man. And just keep going. Just keep, keep going. Yeah, yeah, some serious water damage. This is an apartment, this is not my house. Yo, Devin, what's up with you, man? Shout out to my man, Devin, man. Rod D. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to the noise. I know it's rough. I, I, you know, it's rough over here in America. Yo, big man, I respect your channel and learning a lot. Started working outdoors, new and working on my pull-ups. I'm up to two now. Congratulations, man. Two pull-ups is a, is a great accomplishment. Had another birthday last month. Happy birthday to you, Devin. Yeah, how old are you now, man? I know you're still young, ripped up, cut up, boxing, hitting that heavy bag. Oh, 26, man. <sighs> Strong, man. Strong. Muhammad, I know it's, 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 it's probably especially rough in the Middle East where you are. Um, and it's easy for me to say over here to tell you to try to like block out what's going on around you and and focus on your media channel but um that's what I'm going to tell you just focus on your media channel man that's right long term Yeah, man. You doing how old are you, Muhammad? 
How old are you, man? Nah, no plans for the weekend, man. Just going to do some work and just exercise. and That's all. Pay some bills, clean the house. Forty-three, you young. I went to prison at forty-five. I went to prison at forty-five. Got out at forty-seven. At forty-three, little Sean was one years old, and I had a million dollars, and I lost it all. So. You on the right track. YouTube do my channel as they do your old channel. Yeah, I I could dig it. I could dig it. That's tough, man. But I see you got good views. And um, you know, go live more, man. When when YouTube was doing my channel like that, I would go live more to increase the views. And then you got to do shorts. Cut your lives up into shorts. My long videos is not what YouTube is pushing right now. YouTube is pushing bulk of the artists. What up, man? Where should I go for the move? Where should I go first? I know you've been around. Devin asked me a question. Finally get my passport. Go to Africa, man. Sean, YouTube did you dirty when you talked about the vax and voting in. Um, Muhammad, cut your videos up into shorts. That's how you grow your channel. You cannot, if you see, whenever I put up a long video, in 2019, 2018, 2020, YouTube was on, you put up an eight minute video. You put up an 11-minute video, you get a bunch of views. They weren't even doing shorts then, right? Now, when TikTok, Instagram started kicking their ass, YouTube came up with the shorts. And if you upload shorts, that will make your channel grow. Not long videos. Even my channel now, if I put up a long video, I may get a thousand views, two thousand views, maybe. Maybe a video will, will slide through and get three or four or five thousand. But how I used to get twenty thousand and fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, and it's not just my channel, that's everybody, but the shorts is the way to go. Yeah, take some of your big videos, your lives or your videos, and like good points, like important points, cut that motherfucker up into a short. You can edit it right off the uh right off the video where it says remix. That's gonna get your channel to grow. Nah, Devin, I ain't been out of Atlanta in a minute, man. Where you at? You in Atlanta or you on the West Coast? Kasim Simmons, Tyson, and Jake Paul. I haven't really thought about it. I'm happy for Mike Tyson. He's going to be able to make him some money for his kids. I've lived in Vegas the last year, but in L.A. right now, yeah. Y'all ain't been to Atlanta in a while, man. As you should, stay moving. Hey, send me a location. I want to fight with you. My nigga Rod D. Rod D, you ain't got nothing you want to talk about?
Muhammad, we got to do a FaceTime, man. We got to do a FaceTime. Send me an email, and I'm going to send you my number, and we do a FaceTime on WhatsApp, man, and, and we'll go over some stuff with the channel, man. Maybe I can help you. Just got fired post-NBA, making 120 k moved back home, got a cheap apartment in Chicago by myself, looking to start a business, trying to figure out what. Escape the flock. I see you, man. Mark Gill. Thank you, Mark Gill, for your channel membership. I appreciate you. Yeah, let's let's do because we could there's so much that we could talk about, man. Instead of doing it on here, we could do it live face to face. I won't charge you. Jersey Rich, doing shorts definitely help. I struggle with addiction. Any help on how to quit smoking? You just stop, homeboy. That's all I can tell you. It's the only advice I could give. What does this plus sign stand for? Start a poll, okay. Now, I never lived in New York. I never lived in the city. I always lived in Jersey. I never wanted to live in Manhattan. I could go to Manhattan, I can get to Manhattan in 15 minutes, so I, I don't need to live there. I got access to it, I go in, I do what I gotta do, I come back. Lee Turner. What's up with you, Lee Turner, down there in South Carolina, man? I've been researching places to receive dual citizenship. That's a good idea. That's a great move. That's a great move. It's a great move. Thank everybody for subscribing. Appreciate y'all. Sharmika G, thank you for your super chat. I appreciate you. Devin, my pops got dual citizenship in Ghana. They got a program for African Americans. Yep. I think it's like 17 countries in Africa that offer foundational black Americans uh, dual citizenship. Right off the rip. You become a citizen right off the rip. You can vote. You can own land. You can do all of that. Sharmika, give me a topic you want to talk about. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you, Shamika, for your another super chat. Thank you. Give me a topic. Lee Turner said, I'm still burning the trees I cut down a few weeks ago. AES Corpus. I'm chilling in the tropics. Got my papaya tree giving me fruit. Yes, sir. Yeah, no bloodline necessary. Hassan Nassar, what's up, man? There's a bunch of countries over there that offer that. I think Kenya offers some type of citizenship. Uganda, uh, Tanzania, Zimbabwe for foundational black Americans. No. Nah. I don't watch wrestling. watch wrestling since the 70s. Yeah, property is very affordable over there. 
That's the move, man. If I was 26 like you, that's what I would be. I would be trying to make my way immediately. Immediately. If I didn't have little Sean, I probably would have been there. But I can't leave my man. He's still doing a custody fight with his mother. My man AES Corpus says, shout out to the Foundation on African Americans. Thank y'all for giving us soul music. You're welcome, sir. Thanks for listening. Escape the flock. Thanks for the super chat. But I'm not joking. I want to fight with someone. You don't want to fight with somebody. If you really wanted to fight with somebody, you would put your real name up there with your real profile picture. And you would put your phone number up there and you would come as you are and you would ask for a fight that way. With a fake profile name, you don't want to fight. Thank you, Coach King. What's the best advice you got for somebody wanting to come up in the YouTube fitness game? Just post, man. Start your channel and post. Jersey Rich, thanks for putting my link tree up. Shamika says, be consistent. Shamika says, be consistent. Yep, corporations are buying foreclosure and renting. And renting them out. Also driving up the cost of renting. Looking to connect with you, Sean. Looking for some mentorship. All right, send me an email. Or hit me on my uh, Instagram and we can do something. My email is the podcast with soul at gmail.com. Just want to say love the videos, keeps me motivated, dealt with depression and gambling addiction. And you had great impact on my recovery. Strange how that works. Love from Amsterdam. CB in Amsterdam, man. All the best to your homeboy. I'm glad you found the channel and uh, keep doing what you're doing and forgive yourself. Don't beat yourself up. We all make mistakes. Nah, I ain't thinking about doing no other events, Devin. YouTube fitness is almost dead. They're all doing lifestyle videos instead of purely fitness. Mike Lowry, what's up, man? How are the pyramids of Egypt not a seven one? I thought they I thought they were. I'm from Russia and I'm twenty five. Okay. Yeah, I saw the pyramids, man. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life, man. Man-made structure. There's nothing like it. I saw them three times. I've been over there three times, man. Dope. Dope, dope experience. Jersey Rich, what's up with you, man? Thanks for turning your people on to my channel. Terrell Andrews, you're welcome, man. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you like it, man. I see you, man. I see you. Heard any good new music lately, Sean? Nah, man. What what music, man? Nah. Nah, you heard any? You heard any?
I don't even listen to none of this music, man. I can't even get into it, man. Tell you the truth. Kevin Cage Free, what's up, man? I see you. Thank you, man. Welcome. Come on in. Shamika. Right. Bring back the old school and R&B songs, man. That, I think, Shamika, man, that came with a time period when people had soul. And um, in today's world, people ain't got no soul. Nobody sings like that no more, man. You know, they played instruments. You know, it was a different time, man. You know, when I listen to that old music, it... it it, it touches my soul. It brings me back to a moment in time and it just makes me remember like, yo, what happened? All right, Devin, appreciate you, man. Stack of tall dollars, man. Stay safe too, man. Liar, cheater, manipulator. Thank you. Thank you, Cage Free. Cameron Cage Free. Appreciate you, man. What's old school, Sean? It's all relative. We connect to music through how it made us feel in the moment. Mark Darby. Mark Darby. Okay, Jersey, hit me on the Instagram. All right. Nah, nah. It was a moment of time, man. I want you, Marvin Gaye, 1975. That song touches the soul. Yeah, all that stuff, man. Al Green, Aretha Franklin, Isley Brothers. That's that real soul music, man. Roberta Flack, Fontella Bass, Lynn Collins. Mm-hmm. Yep. Coach Cream been down with the spinners lately. I'm coming home beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the spinners. Yeah. Yeah, I love the old school, man. Like Tupac said, ain't nothing like the old school. Thank you, man. Thank you. Go on my website. Y'all go on my website and get a shirt, man. I just ordered some new ones. I'm waiting for them to come in. I got my man down in New Orleans. I'm waiting on. I'm holding up his package. I got to catch up with... uh. Ramzam ordered a hoodie. I got a lot of work to do, man. What happened to him? From when we were kings. Yeah, that was a dope documentary, man. I got that on DVD in there, man. Herb John, what's up? That's a dope documentary, man, when we were kings. I like that um, Brian McKnight song, man. I think he sings that at the end. I wonder what happened to him, man, Brian McKnight. What happened to all these guys, man? All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. It's been fun. We do it. I'll probably see y'all tomorrow, man. All right, peace.